notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Beth's notebook. Beth, I know that this encounter will be a lot to take in. After all, it's not every day you meet your future self. I tell you that you need to keep all this keep this all a secret, but I know you won't listen. You'll learn that lesson the hard way. The next few years won't be easy for you. Nobody you know is ever going to understand what you are going through. Those closest to you will try to change you, convince you that you are losing your mind. You're not. You are special. You have been chosen to do something amazing. Know that your struggles will all be worth it in the end because you have a purpose. You're going to save the world. How do I know? I've been through this all before, and I'm going to prove it. Below you'll find a list of events that will come to pass in the future. They cannot be changed or undone. It will take time for you to accept this, but eventually you will learn to use this knowledge to your advantage. You will be prepared for what is coming. October 3rd, 2000. Derek Stevenson has been bullying you for months. On October 3rd, you will push him down the staircase at school. You'll do everything in your power to resist this, partly to avoid the consequences, partly to prove this book wrong. But the terrible things he sit will say in that moment will be too much for you to handle. He'll pretend to cry, claim that you gave him a concussion, and you'll take all the blame. You will be transferred to another school. You'll hope things will get better. They won't. It's going to be a difficult year. Whenever you feel helpless, just remember this book. You are special. You have a purpose that they don't. Hold on to that. And if it makes you feel better, 16 years from now, Derek will be working at a dollar store. He still lives with his mom. <laughs> December 3rd, 2000. Mr. Hartstook from next door will pass away. Aww. February 3rd, 2001. The kids at school will steal your jacket. Your parents will claim that you're hiding it on purpose so that they will buy you a new one. Look in the bin on the corner of 3rd and Main. You'll find something that will get you through the winter. You'll be teased for wearing it by Michael. You'll fight back, but it will only make things worse. Eventually, when you are able to contain your anger, take her to her side and say the following to her. I'm sorry about your mom, then give her a hug. She will push you away. She will look incredibly confused, vulnerable. She will never tease you again. April 24th, 2001. Erica, your best friend, will break her arm. Having read this, you will do everything in your power to prevent this. The actions you take to avoid this from happening will only make it so. This is the first time you will truly witness what that your fate is already determined. It cannot be changed. Erica will blame you for the incident. Try not to take this to heart. You will soon discover that she isn't the friend you thought she was. Stay strong. You will find people who respect you for who you are very soon. August 5th, 2001. You will take the night bus home. There will be only one other passenger on board, a scruffy-looking kid with a black eye. His name is Jack Joyce. Remember his face. He's going to become important down the line. September 11th, 2001. This is the one thing... This is the one that will change you. An event will occur that will devastate the entire nation. An act of terrorism that will change the world. Trade center that will cause the World Trade Centers to collapse. Thousands will die. I won't go into further details because the more you know, the more painful it will become when you are unable to prevent it. You will try to prevent it. You will fail. You will curse this book for not telling you more. You will curse yourself for not being able to stop it. It will take a long time for you to get over this, but eventually you will use this pain to feel your path forward. You've now felt what it is to be completely unprepared for what is coming. It won't happen again. Next time you will be ready. This is the event that will finally make you believe. Any doubt you had will disappear. You are ready to take on the mission. So what is coming? October 8, 2016. An experiment gone wrong will cause time to break down. This event will be referred to as a fracture in time. The onset of this event cannot be prevented, but the outcome must be. If the fracture is not stopped, then time itself will come to an end. Life on our planet will end. Saving the world wasn't an overstatement. It is your mission. You must stop the fracture. You can pull this off, but to do so, you need the following. You need to follow some simple instructions. Learn who to trust. Short answer, nobody. The less people know about you, the safer you will be. From this point forward, your mission takes priority over every other aspect of your life. Do not start a relationship of any kind that you aren't willing to leave behind at a moment's notice. There is one exception to this rule. We'll get to that. Know your enemy. Monarch Solutions, they will try to prevent you from achieving your goal. Learn everything you can about them. You will know the best way to achieve this when the time is right. Marnak is run by a man named Paul Serene. You must never be seen by Paul Serene. If he discovers you, then you will risk failing your mission. Learn everything you can about him. Remain hidden, but keep in mind that the best place to hide is often in plain sight. Blend in. Change your appearance frequently. Hair color, clothing style, everything. Be cautious about drawing attention to yourself. Learn to blend in. Examine those around you, the way they move, speak, laugh, copy them, become your surroundings. 
Train daily. There's a series of skills you will need to master to truly be prepared. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, Filipino Kali, and Jeet Kune. Jeet Kune Do. Weapons, training, knives, pistols, shotguns, rifles, wilderness survival, compartmentalization, lip reading, face reading, and the list, the list is one that you will build as you go. In time, you will understand what is necessary and what isn't. Don't rush yourself. Don't rush yourself. Start with gymnastics. Study your target. Jack Joyce. He is the one person who can help you in your mission. He is the exception to rule one. You can trust him. Learn that you can learn what you can about Jack. Study him from afar, but do not approach him directly. You aren't the only one watching him. On October 9th, 2016, you will rescue Jack Joyce. From there, the next steps will reveal themselves. Be patient with him. He's stubborn, reckless, naive, but you can do this without him. We can't do this without him. And he has his moments. He's much smarter than he seems at first. Don't mistake grief for stupidity. Study your objective. The countermeasure. This is the device that was built to stop the fracture in time. This is your objective. Find the countermeasure and use it to stop the fracture. Achieve this and the world will be saved. The device was built by Jack's brother, Dr. William Joyce. Any attempt to contact William or find the countermeasure before the onset of the fracture may be in vain. Wait, Jack will show you the way. Retrieving the countermeasure will not be a simple task. It will involve great hardship and sacrifice. When the time comes, you'll be ready for this. When you first read this, it won't make much sense to you. Over time, you will believe every word, but you will feel underprepared. You will wish that I had told you everything. I promise that promise you that what is written here is everything you will need in order to get you where you need to be. I know this, because I'm already there. Chin up, Toto. You're going to achieve amazing things. You. Wow. Okay. There's a chronon particle over there. Beth. Looks climbable. One of three. What's cli oh this? No, oh, I see. That's exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind while building this thing. Hey, I think I can get to the reset from here. Actually, want to okay carefully, safely, say it. Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Right, there was a door over here. Oh, that was the door she came through. Gotcha. All right, I'm doing things out of order now. Let's go back to that uh, ladder she dropped for me to climb. I believe that's the next. Oops. Thing we need to do. Beth, yeah, oh, right here. No, oh, hey, first though. There we go. And then the last one is over there somewhere, I think.
Hey, what am I doing? Oh, here we go. Duke. All right, all lights are green. That's good. <sighs> good noises or bad noises? up there? Maybe not. Let's find out. There it is. I walked right past it the first time I was up here. Go figure. There we go. Oops. Can I? I can go back this way. Back here. There we go. Waha. There we go. Now we need to go talk to Emerald, I think. Oh, activate the corridor. Gotcha. Up there. Okay. Now, before I do that, let Hey, we got it all. Nice. Let's look at... Where's the upgrades? Let's see. Increased threat detection. Uh, increased... Side. Wait, a second. Okay, threat detection is four. Enemies remain real for longer. Or... Has up radius increased, so makes it easier to get multiple targets in the bubble. That'd be kind of good. Focus lasts longer. I might do focus. Time shield lasts longer and has a larger radius. That also wouldn't be bad. Time blast now takes less time to charge. Mm -hmm. Time blast takes less time to charge. Hmm. Let's do time increased power. There we go. Ooh, I have 12 upgrade points. Well, hello, hello. Focus. Let's see. Do I want to do focus or. Yeah, let's do a bigger time stop. And then let's do increased threat detection. Okay, so that costs six. I have four left. That costs six. Here we go. Get all the second level stuff purchased up. There we go. Nice. Okay, now let's go do this. So it's ready. It's actually functioning. Okay. Hey, 
you were doing this. I'll set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's go. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? God. Did she send her to the future? Fragment of her. Who's this? Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. Interesting. Very interesting. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, take a moment to hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to stay up to date with all the new videos. As always, I enjoy and appreciate your comments, and if you can share my channel and videos on social media and across the internet, it would help as it is your support that keeps this channel going. So, until next time everyone, as always, please, stay safe out there.